Good day and welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail video. In this video we're going to take a look at some of the content or most of the content that's come with patch 1.2 and the first of this being Even Immortality Ends and this is a new Trailblaze mission that leads us into a new story quest. We also have Blade as a summonable unit, we have some new side content and companion related quests that will give us the ability to pick up some new free to play copies of units we also have a new Memories of Chaos stages, and we have some running logging campaigns, and a new simulated universe stage. So plenty of really interesting content that's been added with 1.2, and we'll be diving into all of that in more detail, alongside as well as the new Caverns of Corrosion gear, who it's best suited on, the new units, and just looking at everything basically that's come with patch 1.2, along with what's up and coming. Now, of course, the new side content, uh, Tales of Fantastic, and all of this will only be unlocked once you've completed the first couple Trailblaze missions, so make sure that you do that straight away. So the Trailblaze campaign mission is going to be our number one starting point in terms of the content. So it's the Desolate Depths of Despair, which will be a quest that will be handed to you basically once you begin logging in after patch 1.2 has come out. So it's pretty simple. Uh, and most of you will have easy access to the area if you've been keeping up with the quest. If you haven't, you're going to need to finish all the main story quests before you get there. Now, I'm not going to touch too much onto the main story. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for people, uh, but you're going to have a pretty interesting but short quest line uh, that's available. You also unlock a new Caverns of Corrosion, which will bring with it two new set pieces of gear. The Longvious Disciple set, which is an interesting set that gives you crit rate depending on the amount of HP uh, that is consumed by an ally or themselves. Obviously something to do with Blade and also the Messenger Traversing Hacker Space, which is a support based capability that will increase your overall speed. So again, some pretty interesting mechanics. Uh, across the board. So two new sets of gear. Uh, we'll take a look at which units best fit those sets of gear and yeah, just see which ones those fit on. But you can get those pretty early on. The caverns of corrosion open up basically as you start the quest mode. So you don't need to go too far to equip out your new blade, who's definitely one of the benefits or priority benefits benefactors of the new set piece. We also have a new simulated universe stage. Uh, this is World 7, uh, which is a brand new world, uh, bringing with it obviously its own four difficulties and along with that, new sets as well. So we have the Rutilant Arena, which is again a crit rate set, obviously also closely tied to Blade, at least from my perspective. And alongside that, we also have the Broken Keel, which is something that has to deal basically with increasing effect resistance, which is more for your tankier options uh, as well as being a bonus booster for crit rate for your allies so two interesting sets of gear and some pretty interesting content from that perspective now of course simulated universe world 7 also brings with it herta another eidolon for you to collect for the free to play unit which is pretty cool so that's all nice and dandy Alongside that, we have some new side content, the Tales of the Fantastic, which is a pretty interesting event, which I'll be covering in more detail. Again, you're going to need to progress throughout the Trailblazers journey before you're able to take on the stage. So you won't have access to it straight away, but I highly suggest that you push the Trailblazer quest line as much as you can. Alongside that, we also have the companion mission available, which can be available after the main quest of Dragon Gallant, and this will give you a copy of a new unit. I believe this is also the first free to play copy of an illumination unit. And that's pretty interesting. So it's the first or well, first imagination. Is it imagination? It's imagination unit. Um, so Yukong is the first free to play imagination unit. She's also a harmony unit, uh, which is obviously a healing unit. Uh, and basically she's designed i think to kind of be a free to play option to go along with blade uh, just in general so she obviously ties into the story as well but yeah we also have the gift of the odyssey which is a nice little login campaign uh, which is all pretty good stuff and yeah just in general some decent levels of content so there's quite a little bit that's been added on with 1.2 uh, and alongside that we also have what's coming up next and some other announcements for you to be aware of. So we also have, of course, 
the Trailblazer Guide update, which is a nice little kind of side web app update, and the Project Astro, Astro Warp update. Both of these are little web page exclusives for the community. If you sign up for them, you can net yourself some cool little prizes or some additional, you know, Stella Jade, which is always something that's a little bit of a bonus. So take a look at those via your announcement screens. It's going to be something really worthwhile. And then, of course, we have the information about the next summon, which will be available, which is going to be Kafka, which is going to be uh, obviously a very big deal. I think a lot of people have been looking forward to summoning for her ever since she was unveiled in the opening prologue. So it's going to be super duper interesting. But yeah, that's basically going to be it from me. I should cover everything you need to know. Let me know if there's anything else. And otherwise, I'll see you guys when we look at all the other content that's come in patch 1.2. Until then, bye.